The mouse is one way that most users interact with their computers. If you are a laptop user, you might be more used to using a touchpad, but the principles of clicking, double clicking and right clicking are the same. OK, so here is a picture of a mouse. Oops, OK, that's not a computer mouse. This is a computer mouse. The computer mouse is so called because someone thought the wire here was like a mouse's tail. Many modern computer mice don't even have a wire anymore, instead they run on batteries and communicate wirelessly with your PC. Anyway, most modern mice have at least two buttons, left and right. Many now also have a scroll wheel in the middle, just here. Note that if your mouse is set to left-handed mode, the function of the left-hand mouse button and the right-hand mouse button will be reversed. So, let's explore some basic mouse tasks. To move the pointer on the screen, you simply push the mouse around. To select something, place the mouse pointer over it and press the left mouse button once. Now, to open a file or document, you usually have to double click. This means pressing the left mouse button twice, one click immediately after the other. If you have trouble double clicking, you can usually use the enter or return key instead. We'll talk more about the keyboard in a later lesson. To use enter instead of double click, first single click on the item you wanted to double click on, then simply press enter. You can also practice double clicks in the mouse options which we'll show you in another lesson. Right clicking means simply clicking once with the right mouse button. This usually brings up an option menu or something similar. If I right click on this icon, Windows pops up a menu with various options. I'm running Windows XP here with several extra plugins installed, so the menu you see on your PC might look different. If I wanted to choose an option, I just move my mouse pointer over it and click with the left button. Dragging is another commonly used mouse technique. You can use dragging to move icons or to resize windows. Let's look how to resize this picture window. Firstly, move your mouse pointer to the edge of the window. Find the point where the mouse pointer turns into two opposite pointing arrows, like this. Now we're going to drag the window down to make it smaller. Press and hold the left mouse button. While keeping it held down, move your mouse in the direction you want to expand or shrink the window. For us, that would be down. I kept my left mouse button held down all the time I was moving the window. Once I let go, the window snaps to the new size. Let me show you that again. Click the left mouse button, keeping it held down, move the mouse downwards, and let go once the window is the required size. And there we go, one compacted window. Finally, that leaves the scroll wheel here. If your mouse has one of these and you're working with a window with a scroll bar, such as this one here, you can move the scroll wheel up and down to scroll up and down in the window. This is particularly convenient when browsing longer web pages or documents, for example.